Hey, Earth Signs, it's Lulu. How y'all doing? Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus. Okay. Today I'm going to do your Mudra reading. Okay. It will not resonate with everybody. It's impossible. It's impossible. Now then, thank you for your likes, shares, subscribes, and comments. Thank you for your love and support. Thank you. Earth Signs getting things done. My feet are tingling. Y'all out here making moves. Signing papers, making moves. Making moves. Y'all probably making somebody move. I don't know y'all life like that. I really feel like there's some things going on. Y'all are getting things done. There's a lot of movement. A lot of places. You may be going a lot of places or experiencing out-of-body experiences as well. What? Um... Elevators, escalators. Hmm. Moving forward. The 90 day journey to mindfulness is available on Amazon. The link is in the description box. This journal helps you to become more mindful, present, and aware. This is you being very much so your own therapist. You can also use this with in conjunction with therapy or whatever else that you are doing. This is also an heirloom. You can pass this down to let others see what observations you made about how you worked through what you needed to work through in your life, what clarity you received, and how you worked through it. I said it too many times. Now. Y'all are getting things done. All right. Angels, what information do you have for my beauty? Ooh. My feet have not been open like this all week. I'm really liking this earth sign energy. I'm thinking about taking my time. Now, what information do you have for the earth signs, honey? And they company, because some of them children over here are being nosy on their parents. Read. What information do you have for the earth sign? Heart. You are putting your all into your work. You are putting your all into what it is that you are passionate about. Some of you may have even come into a space. Get out my face. You may have come into a space where you had to forgive someone. Or ask for forgiveness. There's a lot of compassion coming up in her. Being compassionate with yourself and others. Doing the work. I like it. It's unconditional love. What? This is not the only green card in the deck. But it went with what I said right there. I'm really liking how it's lining up. Like your daddy edge up. Now. This may have a lot to do with the flower of life. You manifesting what it is that you want. But understanding the, the uh, principle or your principles that are your standards or what is it? Slow down. It's coming up and through here too fast for me. Now, flower of life circles repeat manifestation forms with this speaking. I really feel like things are coming together for you. Many of you may have recently experienced what, and, and um, yeah, you may have recently taken a class course seminar or, you know, went to a mystery school or what have you. To realize what unconditional love really is. Because a lot of folks don't know. You experienced it. Or you are experiencing it. Maybe someone has had unconditional love with you for a very long time. And now you are um, inherently. Did I say that right? Inheritantly. Inherently. Inherently. Thank you. Got my mudra assistant. Right here on the phone. Now. You inherently have gone through some type of major process um, that allowed you to walk through um, this gate. Maybe you got past a gatekeeper. Now you realize you went through something. It may have been some type of hardship as well. You were pushed into re um, the duality. Ah, there was some type of duality and in, 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 in bringing of balance. Here. What? Slow down. Now, there may even be someone who has crossed over recently. Recently could be up to five years in this house. There may be someone who crossed over uh, recently who is coming through uh, to uh, so that you may experience that in dream state, the true reality. Yes. 
uh, they may you may have a lot of angelic presence or um, whatever you believe in, honey. Mm -hmm. There's going to be a, that unconditional love. You are surrounded by so much help. I see. You're being you. You're being embraced. I don't know what y'all going through or what y'all have been through, but it feels like a very dark period for some of you. It may even be that you <clears throat> feel alone, lonely, or um, maybe in your hermit mode, you are being enlightened in this way. That you are never alone. Um, uh, so there's something between. Let's go ahead and pull these angel oracle messages. Some, some, something is happening with earth signs here. <clears throat> that have you have awakened to what unconditional love truly is on a whole other level. You should be grateful because a lot of people don't experience that. It's beautiful. You may even begin to see. Um, You've come face to face with the truth in a lot of different situations where it's time for you to be accountable, right? So they are showing you that whatever it is that has transpired in the past, this is like some of you may, you may be, uh, you thought that you were um, a narcissist or dealing with a narcissist. And this, whoever this is, is coming to, um, like what they say, a come to Jesus moment or something like that. They are realizing their, um, the wrong that they've done in their life. And they, and now they see how they have wronged other people. There is someone coming. This is a master number 22. Someone is coming into a space where they are realizing how much hurt and pain, like they have left a lot of hurt and pain. And this may even be someone coming back to apologize to you if it's not you, right? <clears throat> it's a lot of apologizing, a lot of I'm sorry, a, lot, a strong connection with making things right. Someone wants to make things right. Someone may even reveal that they have been really sick or they have a terminal illness and they may have had a near death experience um here when it comes to like uh being revived or resuscitated or something like that it's night y'all y'all already know the business if you're new here at nighttime ain't no telling what come out a lot of folks be triggered they're gonna be triggered in the daytime nighttime my time your time ain't got time now let's see what's going on angels what information do you have for my beautiful earth signs honey Keep charging ahead and don't take no for an answer. Expect miraculous results. Your emotions are healing, which enables you to open to greater love. See what I'm saying? And this is from the book of Archangel Uriel and Mystique. Now, see, I like when Mystique comes up and through here. Now, if many of you know that these are uh, the, well, these aren't the original cards, but these are some of the oracle cards that I started off with. I started off with these and these oracle cards, the big girls. And when I would pull Mystique, I will be coming out of some shadow work, a shadow phase. I will be coming out of the dark, not knowing. You know how when you come in, when you're trying to find the light, see, when you finally see the light, you can keep on moving so that you can get greater insight or um, connect even more so to your awareness or just come out of whatever the hell you just went through because you barely made it out. It could be anything, a robbery, anything. Now, you barely made it out. And when I would get this, it's like when you're in the dark and feeling around for a light switch. It's like that. And all you need is a small glimmer of light. Just a little trickle, tr tinkle, twinkle. Twinkle, baby. A twinkle. Just a little bit to hit in a certain place. And you know that you are, this. that's where you need to go to turn the light on or walk more towards the light here move forward but with uriel they're saying that it's um and you can look and see who archangel uriel is in your uh religion your spirituality your beliefs or what have you because the angels um the goddesses the deities all of them cross over into one another didn't we just talk about that hello yes we did thank you now then sure See who it is, what have you. But other than that, the message is that your emotions are healing. So some of you may be going through um, this huge awakening. Oh, yeah, look, earth signs. 
Ain't nothing wrong with emotions. Okay. Nothing wrong with Nothing wrong with feelings. Nothing wrong with being sad. That's what those of you who have a lot of earth in your chart. Now. Or air. <laughs> Move forward. Your emotions are healing, which enables you to open to greater love. I will help you release anger and unforgiveness from your heart and mind. Like I told you, some of you are realizing what it what it's like to really be loved, or that you um, that you can be loved. You are lovable. Maybe you should watch the water sign mudra. You are realizing that you know what 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 love truly is and what it really feels like. How to embody it? How to walk in it and be it on a daily basis? It's not easy. But it's, it, um, you can embrace all this beautiful energy that is coming towards you, around you. It's around you. It's in you. I really feel like this may have something to do with uh, a dark period in your life that may have occurred some time ago. And it's, it came back up for you to deal with. And it's really like you may have even cried and been in a space where you were grief stricken about it. Is what they said. Now. There is that light, lots of orbs, um, lots of raw energy. For those of you who see the raw energy, you see, um, I really feel like you're going to be seeing a lot of raw energy at night as well. So there's a lot of um, nudges, a lot of synchronicities that will be taking place as well. But it's all going to, like, it's going to be so back to back and then you're going to feel, it's a difference when you get to seeing stuff and then you feel that this is really okay. This is really um, worthy of being embraced. Let me just sit with this. Maybe you even will, you'll begin to meditate more or sit with yourself more, but in a space where you are very gentle with yourself and really coming to the realization of how you played a part in certain things or what part you may have played when someone hurt you because it's always playing a part. Nelly, unless you were very young, if somebody took advantage of you, now that's different to get out my face. That's different. We, we don't talk about all that because I, I can't relate to that, so I don't get into that over here. Clarify these emotions for my beautiful earth signs. Maybe there's a Mandela, Mandela, Mandela. That triggers something with you. I don't know. <clears throat> Some of you may even have a horse in itself as a spirit or your new totem animal. Um, look it up and see what the characteristics so I see how it pertains to you and your life. But I feel like if you do have a horse in your energy, <laughs> be careful, ladies. If you do have a horse in your energy here, um, Maybe a certain type of horse, like a Clydesdale or something like that. It's a certain type of horse um, that you meditate with or that stands in the sand for you. Stands in the sand for you. All right. Moving forward. What is this uh, Archangel Uriel telling my friends out here in this beautiful world? I told you. Capricorn. Releasing yourself from old patterns of behavior, toxic people, places, and situations, habits, whatever it is. Look at you. Oh, naked inside her. The, the, the door to the cage is open. Look at this coin. He in the cage naked, girl. The door to the cage is open. You can come out now. Fearful. Afraid of the unknown. It got something to do with that right there. It's being healed. And someone is feeling very vulnerable. Thinking that people can see how vulnerable they are. They can't see it unless you show them. And you don't have to validate when if they say something. They can think what the fuck they want to. It's right here. You are in a space where you just feel like you are trapped. And you realize that no, you are not trapped. You are no longer who you were. No longer have to um, put up with the things that you used to put up with. This may even be releasing yourself. This is to help you release yourself from toxic people, toxic patterns, mostly toxic, toxic decisions that you made out of emotion. Don't be out here slapping bitches because you in your emotions, sir. We just don't do that over here. Because I feel like somebody might have been very much so aggressive, very much so domestic violence-ish. We don't play hand games over here, sir. 
Someone that's being released from a toxic situation right there, though. I feel, though. Now, with this gate being open like this gate, cage. With this cage being open and someone is trying to uh, make, make a situation right or make a, a situation right. No, it's time for you to come out of it. You are being pulled out of some old ways, some old patterns, some old ways. Just you're being pulled out. Might be scared of love right there. Scared of emotions. I really feel it. But I also feel like there's some Stockholm Syndrome in here that somebody to get out of right there. Isn't that what it's called? Stockholm Syndrome? Stockholm? 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 Jeez. It's in Google. Nick, I really feel like it. Look at me. I control you. I have this and that. No, you don't have. Look, it's open. The door has opened. This little door, whatever. So, there are these things that used to control you, a drug addiction, whatever it is. It no longer has, um, it no longer has you held captive or prisoner. You just need to see that, know that you will be okay coming out of this. And be able to forgive your oppressor. No comment. Because it depends on what we're talking about. No comment. Now, what is this mystique talking about? I told you. See? You getting away. You get in the way, but here is the thing. This may even be that somebody may be packing up and leaving late at night, packing their shit, packing their children. Afraid of the goblins. It may even be that you are um, afraid of what, like, you may be afraid of what um, those bump in the night. Hold on, let's take our time. Now, you got the page of swords in reverse. So this is um, someone who... Uh, maybe an air sign or someone that has blocked you or cut off communication with you. Someone is spying. Someone is very slanderous. When the door open, which way will you go? You have a decision to make. You have a decision to make. Because with this page of swords, it's not a good look. Look at her. Upside down. She looks like she up to no good. It's really giving uh, vindictive. It's really giving my way or no way. It's really giving that somebody wants to argue. Someone wants to, um, they may even be, uh, trying to gaslight you. Someone's trying to get you to go back into your old ways. You have to step deeper into love, show some compassion. That's what they said, earth signs, because here we are. Anxiety, stress, fear. Hmm. Afraid of if you made the right decision and what, what kind of repercussions will happen. What, what could possibly happen with the decision that you made. You may even be afraid to go to sleep because at the end of the day, you're afraid of what may come. Who is turning into werewolves? I'm really getting domestic violence. Who is turning into a werewolf? Moving forward. But overall, with this nine of swords, I really feel as though some of you may question if you made the right decision getting out of a certain situation. And whatever this is, there's some um, someone trying their best to communicate with you, and you shut them out, but you still have fear of that connection. You don't have to fear that connection anymore as long as you do the work here or whatever you decide to do. Choose a path. You may have to choose between, you may be um, deciding to choose between a, um, a fire sign and a water sign here. But overall, this may be that someone reveals who they truly are. And you may have to, you know, let's clarify this page of swords in reverse. Because I really do feel like they stalking. Some of y'all might even be scared that scared. Uh... See, this is all in your head, though. It's in your head. It's not real. Unless, you know, you got some, you know, some data facts and some receipts to make, you know, what you are thinking is real. But I really don't feel like a lot of this is real. I feel like you're not allowing your intuition to guide you. 
You're more in your head than in your heart. You need to connect the head and the heart. Let's clarify this page of swords because it's a very messy page of swords. What is this page of swords doing with the earth signs, honey? Or somebody doing with, yeah. Mm-hmm. They want to reach out to you. They are, they are all up in their what ifs. What if this? What is that? You don't want to give them no attention. You don't have time for them. You are not giving them anything. What's done is done. I feel like they, no matter what they have or how they move at things, like this may be someone that had you in a third party situation. This may have been someone who put you in some cross action type situations. If you know what that is, you know what it is. If not, don't even worry about it. But somebody probably put you in a cross here. And I really feel with this four of cups and the way that he's looking at something like he's never satisfied. Whoever this is, is a woman, chick, or a child, or a man. Hmm? Whoever this is, is never satisfied. And they always, um, even though they, they like to, here we are. Whoever this is, they like what they like. They want what they want. They have these three cups down here. Hmm? These are all people. That they have emotionally manipulated. These are all people that they keep caught up. But you were the one that got away. And now your ass scared. Don't be scared. Because at the end of the day, they, they didn't, they're not going to focus on you too long. They got a lot going on. They can't afford to focus on you. It's on you which direction you want to go and how you want to move forward. I tried to explain the hoeing situation in the other read and it, it didn't come out right. I'm thinking about that now. That's it. That's it. Really thinking about that. I think it was a fine sign reading. I said all that stuff about home. Unconditional love. So this assists with gratitude, open heart, and empathy. It supports the cardiorespiratory and immune systems. Increases circulation in the chest, heart, and lungs. Increases circulation in the chest, heart, and lungs. So you'll hold your hands like this. Bring the hands in front of the heart. Relax the shoulders down and lengthen the spine. Your affirmation is, my heart blossoms open with unconditional love. My heart blossoms open with unconditional love. My heart blossoms open with unconditional love. Say it till you feel it, mean it. And such. That's it. I got to get my charge, girl. This uh, phone finna go out. All right. I love y'all, Earth Signs. Okay. If it don't apply, let it fly. Hmm? Oh, we got this butterfly uh, from one of the housemates. It, um, I can actually wear those butterfly wings. I don't know who sent it to me some time ago. I just thought I'd make it part of the decor because we don't know what we are doing back here. But we doing something. It might take us a while because, you know, I'm real slow moving about stuff like that. I'm just, I just got tired of the backdrops. You know what I mean? I don't know, man. I don't know. Big things popping, little things stopping. So, I don't know. I mean, y'all come here for the message anyway, right? That's all I'm saying. Y'all come here for the message, not the view. You know what I mean? So, I'm just saying. All right, I'm going to get on Instagram because I'm, I'm riled up now. Oh, oh, I didn't make a video about it. I'm going to make the video now. Bye. Bye, Earth Signs.